Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Here's a sneak peek of the coasters we're going to be making today. So let's jump in and get started. We're going to be pouring these in layers. I went ahead and mixed up my resin and my pigments off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin and your pigments, I will link one of those videos down below in the description box. Be sure to check it out. So here we are. It's the first day. I'm pouring a little bit of clear into my mold. I'm using the general use epoxy from the epoxy resin store. I'm spraying a little bit of alcohol on that wet resin to pop the bubbles. It's 91% isopropyl alcohol. And these are little ornaments that I found at Walmart. They're really thin and pretty and sparkly. So I thought, hey, I bet these would be really cool in some coasters. So what I'm doing is just pushing down the ornament. So every single spot of that ornament has contact on that resin. Um, you don't want to leave any little parts sticking up because you can get air bubbles under there. And that's it for the first layer. Super simple and easy. I'm going to cover it up, let it dry for 20 24 hours and here we are 24 hours later I wanted to show you guys these really pretty glitters from drier days this one's called Yuletide this one is celestial it's one of my favorites it's a sparkler glitter and this one's blue love and it's biodegradable which is also really awesome we're going to be using the Yuletide and holographic silver from drier days to fill the molds the rest of the way full and I mix that little bag, the whole entire bag, into a three ounce cup of resin. So I'm just kind of pouring these in different sections of the molds. No particular rhyme or reason. And that's it. Super simple and easy project. I'm going to spray it with some isopropyl alcohol again to pop any bubbles after I get the glitter poured in. And if you want to check out any of these glitters, um, be sure to check out Dryer Days Art Studio. I have a discount code for her store as well. She has some really gorgeous glitters. This Yuletide glitter is so pretty and it's really great for projects like this or any type of holiday crafting you'll you're going to be doing and for this layer i'm also using the general use epoxy from the epoxy resin store i just loved watching the glitter sparkle in these coasters at this point i was like oh my gosh that is so pretty so i'm going to cover these up let them dry for 24 hours and then we'll be ready to demold them so here we are 24 hours later i was excited to see how these turned out um, this one here is my favorite of the two Check it out, so sparkly and pretty. And the reason why you wanna pour these in layers is because you don't want that ornament to float um, if you do it all in one pour. And when you add the clear on the bottom and add place the ornament down on the clear, it kind of gives it a feeling that it's floating. So yeah, that's why you wanna do it in layers. And here's the second one. This one turned out really pretty too, but my ornament in this one did move a little bit. So that's okay. He's had a little bit too much eggnog, I guess. But that holographic silver and the Yuletide glitter from Dryer Days are just gorgeous. I thought they were so perfect for this project. And I'm going to give you guys a close-up in some better lighting. So here they are, all finished. I put um, little rubber bumpers on the back of my coasters. Or you could use felt bumpers as well and that keeps them um, you know from sliding around on the table so they're functional let me know what you guys think down in the comments thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it and if you did leave me a like hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help out my channel and as always i will link all the materials i used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that i have Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'm wishing you all happy holidays. I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye.